Marriage is a blending of hearts. It's a union of two lives as one. And your marriage stands not by the authority of the state or by the power of your wedding certificate, but it stands by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in one another. Your lives, which began on separate paths, now come together as one. And today you will become stronger, better, and deeper as you join your lives together. There's three encouragements that I would like to give you. Number one, every day be grateful for each other. Second of all, live each day as if it's your last day. Make every moment count that you have together. Through your tender words and your kind actions, you can make your marriage and your home a very safe place for one another. The last thing I think is most important because every great marriage that I know about has two key ingredients, love and respect. Love each other just the way that you are. I don't know what it is about getting married, but it just is, just kind of happens where when a couple gets married, now we can change each other. Well, those little things that drive you crazy are the things that you fell in love with to begin with. So love each other just the way that you are. Second of all, respect one another. You each have your own goals, dreams, vision for life. Respect that about each other. So when you're together, as you grow in your marriage, make sure you love each other just the way that you are and respect one another. And you have vows to share with one another. So if you could share those right now. I, Chris, affirm my love to you, Katie, as I invite you to share my life. You are the most beautiful, smart, and generous person I have ever known. And I promise always to respect you with kindness, unselfishness, and trust. I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together. Katie, you <laughs> back. Chris, I have been waiting for this moment since the day you brought me to the pumpkin patch. I remember driving home and gazing out the truck window, just having this feeling that everything was going to be okay. I remember feeling like the happiest girl on earth. I didn't know at the time, but I think some would say that was the moment I fell in love with you. And that feeling in that moment has never left me. I still feel like the luckiest girl. I believe we were placed in each other's lives at just the right moment. I was attracted to you from day one. I trusted you after day two, and I was committed to you ever since. I know you are my soulmate. Marriage isn't always going to be sunshine and butterfly butterflies. I don't know, but I think the key to a successful marriage is to always remember how to have fun with each other and to make us each other's priority above work, our dogs, and even children <laughs> one day. <laughs> because when pets and children leave us, it's you and I who stay. So as your wife, I will always remind you of the sunny days and butterfly feelings. I wrote some down that came to my mind while writing this, and I put them in our spice cabinet before we left. Our job is to fill it when it's getting low and use it when it's filling up. It will stay there as a reminder that there is always fun to be had with each other and fun is the most important spice to life. I can't promise you that I'll be the perfect wife, but I do promise you that I'll continue to be me. I'll expect nothing less and nothing more from you. I will love you always and unconditionally, but most importantly I promise that I will never give up on us. Because that day driving home from the pumpkin patch, I felt like God picked you just for me. And you're a gift I'm never going to give up. That's great. If you'll take uh, the rings that you have for one another, and if you'll hold each other's rings. I'd like you to pay attention to these rings for just a moment because even though these rings are small in size, they're very large in significance. The first thing I want to draw your attention to is these rings are in a perfect circle, which means that they have no ending to them at all, which is a great reminder for you that your love for one another never ends. Second of all, these rings are precious, and not just because of how they're made or what they're made out of, but they're precious because they represent the dreams, 
the goals, the desires that you have for one another, but also the memories that you've made so far as you referred to the pumpkin patch, but also the memories you're making today, the memories that you're gonna make into the future. So whether you're together or apart, my hope for you is you know those times when you're sitting and you're twirling the ring on your finger? That you'll be reminded that your love for one another never ends and that your love for each other is very precious. So if you'll, Chris, if you'll take um, Katie's ring and put it on her ring finger. And once you get it on there, if you'll repeat after me, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. To be my lover. To be my lover. My partner. My partner. And my best friend. And my best friend. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Katie, if you'll take Chris's ring and put it on his ring finger. And repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign that I choose you. As a sign that I choose you. To be my lover. To be my lover. My partner. My partner. And my best friend. And my best friend. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. Chris and Katie, my hope for you is that you have many long years to enjoy each other's company. My hope for you is that you're grateful for the good fortune that you've had of finding one another and the good fortune that you have of loving each other. My hope for you is that you'll build a home that is sheltering and welcoming that all, uh, for all that come into your life. And my hope for you is that you will love and be loved by one another, by those family and friends that are here today, and by those that are waiting for you back home. And now, because you've declared your love for one another by sharing vows and exchanging rings, by the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you get to kiss your new wife. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Shaw. Yay! 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 Yay!